no bowl there. Yeah. It's broken. Folkestone Cooperative Society Limited. Old milk bottle. Oh, that is heavy. What is that? That's cast. That's cast. Something there as well. Really he heavy metal. That, that looks like an old uh, saucepan. Judy's just uh, called me. Oh, look at them bluebells. There's something over here. Have a look. What you found? Back of that tree. Something on the back of this tree. Try not to walk on these bluebells. Whoops. Yeah. Is this more heavy metal? Or is it ceramic? Shoe, an old boot, stitch, not glued. Ah, that's a bit of sewage pipe. There's a coupler, and yeah, one will join in together there. What's that? Something flying, that is. Could be a crow. Alright, on to the next find. If we find anything. This is a crazy mess. And it looks like part of a scooter. In the odd. Oh, what that could be, where the engine sat on. Well, that's been there a good few years. Well, that, that's where you put your key. Yeah, I think that's part of an old scooter. It's heavy though. Look. What you found, Dale? Part of a bottle, uh -huh. old one. Judy just found a part of a bottle, so let's go and have a look up there, shall we? Right. Julie just took us over here. Oh, look at that. Something in the sun. That's old. That's got some. That's got some age to it. Yeah, I think a bit of sponge some pottery. Oh, Julie says she's just found some sponge wear. Let's go and have a look, shall we? about so <laughs> can't find it now it is not sure <coughs> let's have a look no it's not I don't think that's a sponge where is it So, I think so. Look at that. Yeah, look at that there. Now, we don't think that's a, a bottle digger's hole. That's just a big hole. Uh, there's all sorts of bits around here bits of glass, bits of tile. Oh, there's a rusty old bucket. That's a weight. Is that a weight? Oh, yeah. it is. Yeah, a scale weight. Very small one. I bet that's imperial. I bet. I bet that's an ounce. Whoops. Just drop that. There it is. There it is. 
Get that back and clean that up. Can you see how it's on it? Right. Oh, look. Another piece of broken bottle, yeah. Old. Old. There's a bit of a, it looks like a oyster shell there. And we're on top of a 300 foot hill, maybe 400 foot. So I think this was fetched up here. It's not natural that it should be here. Bit of rubber. Bit of broken cut there. Ah, just leak it. Come down now. That looks like a 60 amp fuse carrier. Let's have a look. British made. Yeah. It's definitely a heavy fuse there, carrier. It's all metal there, look. Size of that, I mean that's ceramic. It's got slight sort of decorated top pad to it. It's quite thin. You know, that's, that's not sanitary wear, it's just, just not tough enough. Some sort of pot or some something. It's massive. Indeed. That's, that's a good telltale sign of uh, dumpage. It's a battery cell. Yeah, it's in Carl and battery cell. What's this here? That looks, that looks like some sort of bracket. Uh, maybe bathroom WC. This old, it's like the remem remnants of a 40 gallon oil drum. What's that? I'm sure what that is. It's got a ball on each end, so it's not designed to go, go in a wall or anything, you know, it's not a hook. That is. Judy up here, look. She's like a mountain goat. What you got? Spark plug. Spark plug. Shall I chuck it? Yeah, go on then. Whoops, there you go. Champion. Quite a small one. Yeah, there's the end probe, uh, anode. So it's quite, quite a small one as it happens. It's for a petrol engine. These are where rabbits are dug here, look. Tunnel going off down there. Oh, it's over there. I can see something there. Just, no, where are we? Just there. There's a whole jam jar here, but it is screw top. Yeah. Oh, there's a, fra a fragment of a top of a big. Uh, I don't know if that was a spice jar. It's, uh, it's quite large. Looks Victorian, Edwardian. Really spotted that. Bottom of a, I don't know, decorated glass bowl. Maybe a sugar bowl. Not sure. It's a whole jar here. Sort of screw top, but 
one of them type with split threads. Sure that. What's the age of that? Could be the thirties, twenty thirties. Nice colourful bit of glass. I want to have to come back here. Because this is overgrown with nettles. A right, couple of bits here that Julie's found. Ooh. Door handle. Is that metal that in or is that? Ceramic. Not sure. It's a nice handle though. Yeah. And a sauce bowl. Unembossed. But it looks like a sauce bowl anyway. Right. I'd say. I reckon there'd be more up there. Yeah. Yeah. I think really. This needs a winter look, especially further up. I mean, it's a new area that we found, and just seeing what's on the surface, it's an exploratory uh, look, see? Yeah, and definitely something. Yeah, it's very steep here. So, uh, yeah, as I say, I like, come back in the winter. Shame, but like, you don't know these things till you look for them, and you always try to find something new. You wouldn't you notice look there, that. There's a massive piece of sink there. Yeah. If you've seen our videos before, you will know that we go to places that's not the norm, you know, where everybody else goes, and uh, have a little explore. And, uh, hopefully, every event is different. I know that we have done the norm in the past, but uh, we've also done quite a few not the norm, so we hope you enjoy. I think it's a Saffa cup, or maybe um, uh, Naffy. Yeah. 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 That's what I meant, Naffy. Yeah, that's another military Naffy. Navy, Army and Air Force canteens, started by the government. After the First World War, it's, uh, what's that on the bottom? There's a pattern that number on the bottom. Oh, another bit of electrical fuse. Let's work our way down. Yeah, I, th I think that's part of the fuse carrier. Yeah, so anyway, on the bottom here, there's a pattern number, England. You see the uh, edge of the Naffy, yeah, Navy, Army and Air Force Institute. Yeah, have to find something complete. All right, let's catch, catch up with Julie. She's just found this, just like a little pill bottle. It's complete, little metal screw, screw cap on it. So, 20th century, but it just adds to what we're finding, evidence that something's been going on. Another one of them shoes dug holes. There's another one. Strange. As Julie said, here's another one of these big holes. Dug in amongst the bluebells. Now this is crazy here. This is like old boilers, old water tanks, yeah, you sort of immersion eaters, um, maybe from steam boilers and things. It's just everywhere. Uh, water tanks. Look at it all. Old water pipes or sewage pipes. Look. More electrical stuff here. There's another load there. 
is all over in the woods here, another one there, down there. It's just everywhere. We found these. What you got? Yeah. That's for a, uh, what's called a ceiling rose, I think. Pendant fits it on there, ceiling drop. Lighting. Well, we reckon it's all come down from up there, they've just rolled it off the top. Look at there. Wow. Oh no, it's an, nothing we can take home. <laughs> Doorknob, cupboard knob. More electrical. There we go. Ring pull can top down there, look. Where? And there, uh, that's an old one. Well, it is an old one, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Well, bits of old sink, that. It's all sorts up there. I'll go and have a look. Right. I've climbed up a bit. There's all sorts of stuff up here, mainly metalwork and and sort of uh, sanitary wear, like you know, big sinks, Belfast sinks broken and uh, butler sinks. There's all sorts here. It looks like asbestos. You can see how far all that's rolled down from here. Now I think this is a military barracks area. It's been here since about 1820, I think. 1830. Uh, and uh, they've had refurbs and just slung it over the side over the years. Uh, there it all is, I mean, all this galvanised uh, stuff. It looks like early 21st century. Could be up to about 1950, 1960. Uh, it's awesome, really. There's stuff everywhere. Nothing small, a couple of little things we found. That's, take home but I'm afraid I don't think we're going to fetch back much back but I think it's interesting you know if you get out and about and look if you had a scraper here we could probably have a good old scrape at the top maybe that's fine some little gems little items but who knows you know it's beautiful in here <laughs> apart from Without all this stuff, the birds are tweeting. Hopefully, the mic's picking it up. It's quite nice. Okay, let's carry on. There's another remnants of an ice isolator, but this one has got a number on it W7230. Julie found that. Yes, I've caught her up. Right, we'll see if we can get out of this bit. Found this little uh, cog. Uh, I'll zoom out the what clock. It's a bit damaged. There we go. Tiny little teeth on it. Oh, what's got that? Oh, piece of old tile. Yeah, it's. It's a bit strange looking really. Oh look. So what you got there? Oh, milk of magnesia. Milk of magnesia, yeah. 
definitely is magnesia. It, it actually says it. Yeah. I can't quite read it for now. Yeah, it does. It says yeah. magnesia. Yeah. Look at that. Looks like it's still got some in it. <laughs> Screw top. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Hold on. Can't focus. Absolutely gleaming. That's well clean. Very nice. Huh? And oh, I can't get it to focus down here. Yeah? Don't know why. Look at that. Put a pipe stem. Put a pipe stem in an ink. Let's dummies drop these here. Oh look, little beads. Four little beads. I'm sure that plastic. I don't know. Definitely beads though. Right in the middle of it all. Shame about the graffiti. There's always some people that have to disfigure everything. It's, uh, it's quite high here. Yeah? Probably looks over the sea. I don't know if you can see the sea just there. Oh, yeah. yeah, so. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, hold on, I've climbed a bit higher here. There's the bunker there, so it's a little bit lower than me now. And uh, you can actually see the English Channel. And that is Dimchurch Bay. So, so we're on the south coast of Kent. France is over there, not too far away. And uh, we're a long way up. Judy says we can actually get in the bunker, so let's go and take a look. So let's make our way in. This is a blast wall. Well, here we are. Oh, camera shows up quite nicely in here. It's very dark. It's no one in here, is it? Yeah. See, all, all, all this gorse and bushes, it was over here and they cut it down, but it would have been a lot more thinner than that. Have a look in the sea. Oh, yeah, that's grown up over the years. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I presume this has got a concrete base, but it's covered in soil. And, Quite clean, really. I mean, like I've it been is. in some of these. Some that, of these that we've been in. Yeah, we've been. Yeah, absolutely people, disgusting. People have used them for a. As a toilet. As a toilet, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, commanding view. Fantastic. With military training, went on to, to in the distant uh, past, a few years really. No training in here. A couple of bits here. That looks like it. That's complete. Got an air bubble in it. Uh, maybe 1920s? Could be. And that's a bit of engine gasket. Sort of a uh, metal. Probably got asbestos in the uh, middle of that. Yeah, 
think it has, so let's not dwell too long with that. Right, go in the bag. Not bad. Judy just walked by that, completely missed it. I wonder if that's 1920s again. Probably toilet water, cologne, maybe. Could be perfume. It's funny, like, there's sort of bits of this everywhere. Or well, bits and pieces scattered around. But, like, there's a lot of rabbit holes here, so. Somebody just dropped it, put it in their pocket, used it all up, chucked it away. Don't tell Julie, but Julie's there. And yet again, mind you, it is hard to see. But I can see an amber bottle. Anybody know? Maybe leave a comment. Leave that one open, I think. Ah, oh, what's that in there? Milk magnet, uh, calamine lotion. Ah, oh, maybe. Could be from there. Fantastic. Just about to leave that particular spot and look at that. Some sort of maybe a post chart, aren't it? It's got little stars around the bottom. It's quite nice. Writing on it. I don't know if you want to go down and see if you can. Oh, yeah. Look. Yeah, Julie just uh, said there's a. Stuff. Might be some kind of marker or something. Let's see if I can get down there. Hold on. Right. Got down here. There's this uh, stone that Julie's seen. Oh, I'm sure if that's a, a marker stone or a... It's very thick for a gravestone. Mac Mackay, something of Mackay on OE of, of... Oh, that's very odd. It's very thick, look. I don't know. What's that very bottom word say? What here? Yeah. I don't know. It's so, it, it says R-Y of McKay. Maybe on, but, but, but that could be of. R-Y. I mean, army, but army of McKay. No, that doesn't make sense. It's very odd. Down there, no other bits. Let's have a look. Can't really see. Here, look, this bit here. No, there's nothing here. Okay. But what? I've just realised there's yeah. a graveyard. Yeah, cemetery there. So there's a cemetery there. It could be, it's a military cemetery, so. Uh, yeah. There's a military uh, cemetery there, that. but that doesn't explain why that's there. No. Which is very odd. Hmm. Now, this has been dug here by rabbits, and look what's there. It's like a little lid, ceramic lid, stoneware lid. And 
that's milk glass. That's milk glass. Oh, I don't, I'm not sure what that is. is it HA? Don't know. No, but look at that. I wonder if that lid fits that. Oh, that is not necessarily ringing they go together, but they do for now. That's fantastic. Wow. A strange place, you know. Anything else? Julie just spotted this, and that looks like something else that's not a grave. And I say corner piece because on the end here, that's a piece of metal that is designed to slot into something. Crazy. I'm hoping these are where where the graves have been redone and uh, bits have ended up here not of the old we're just about to go in there in a minute and see if we can find because we sort of took a note of where that was in relation to the site uh, the cemetery Let's see if there's a new one with McKay on it what you found, huh? Oh, tiniest little, tiniest little blue and white, look. The larches. Huh. Right, we're just going out now. And we, we're going to go in there. Just, just to see, just to see. It's by the uh, way out. Julie's just uh, found that. It's definitely an old bottle. As Julie said, it's got a letter and I think it's an H. Can't we really see it now? Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's an H, I think. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's a very interesting place. I think a good rake would, we would discover more and, and preferably in the winter time because the it's late spring, early summer, well end of May nearly and uh, the nettles are back in a vengeance she found now uh, oh yeah please limit access to public footpaths only by the way that sign didn't mean where we've been it meant in here along the edge of the road prime land for building new houses, they're building them everywhere but lucky enough over here is just too steep I mean that drops one 200 foot in 200 foot it doesn't really uh, show it but that's, it goes a long way down there uh, so hopefully that will keep them out of there there's a few bits here just found just on the last knockings at the on the path just to go out. What's that? Three bits of pipe stem, little bits of plain pottery. Whoops, dropped a bit of pipe stem. I picked that up. So it's here. Just got to look for it. Yep. And Judy found these bits. Same place as me. Yeah, they're plain. Yeah. One, two, three, and four bits of clay pipe stem. I don't know if that's anything. It's bit of roof. just tile. Yeah. Yeah. Bit of roofing tile. So that completes the log. So not too bad at all.
Well, there's a few bits and pieces that we found. It was a new area mm. uh, uh, near n nearby to or part of where we had larked and found things before. Normally find a uh, kind of free a uh, few uh, three o three bullets and the like, but we didn't find none today. Metallic at watch cog, which has not got much age at all, and the weight, and that was it half an ounce, no quarter of an ounce, half an ounce, half an ounce, yeah, yeah, yeah it's a half half an ounce. So uh, probably brass because it's. If you've got a, a green shoe, so mm. no naffy, mm. and I've kept half a naffy cap, yeah, <laughs> half a naffy cap. Um, uh, Navy, Army, and Air Force Institute, a charity. Uh, I kept this because of the uh, pattern number on the bottom. I tried to look it up, I can't find nothing about the uh, number at, at all. Uh, a few bits of piper stem. There's quite a bit there. These two have got. I think it's these two. Yeah. Mm. These two have got. Uh, and that's got a pattern and something on it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think it says Ancaster, like part of Lancaster. Oh, but, yeah. Part of Lancaster, but I can't really find much about it. And I, I think this one was J Hill. And the only J Hill that I could find. Was a marijuana pipe, but what? Yeah, which is really confusing. No, is it on that side, Jay Hills? I can't. I can't. But I don't think it is. I, mean, I wouldn't know what way up it goes. No. Because I think that's a you got me a, a modern thing. So, uh, uh, an ink. Yeah. Yeah. It's about the oldest thing. There. Yeah, yeah. I'd say that's the oldest. Amber. But Clear all of uh, medicine, maybe snake oil, hang like that. Perfume, perfume, or yeah. I'd say cologne. So. Is there any? I can't remember if there was anything on the bottom. No, nothing no, at all. Nothing. Looks kind of perfumey, yeah. or hair oily sort of stuff. Yeah, nice blue, but is it a um? Look at that. Yeah, magnesia, it, yeah it's, it's actually yeah. embossed, but uh, screwed top. So yeah, I so say it's not that old. Then nineteen twenties, thirties. Uh, you see these lids that sort of make up one thing, but they don't that's match. That's a hanging lid, that is. Yeah, yeah. That's a ceramic. That's, that's milk, milk glass. glass. Little paste pot. Yeah, don't know what that is. No, whoops. A beautiful lid. Look at that. I mean, that is... That that glaze, you die for that glaze, wouldn't you? It's gorgeous. So... <laughs> uh, a, a bottle, like, an aspirin bottle, or, or, that I can't it's got get the gunk top in off. It. Yeah, I can't get the top yeah. off. So, not a place known for its finds, but you can find things, mm. you know. So, uh, I, I suppose it's a little bit of a lesson, you know. Just go anywhere, and you're bound to find uh, something. Oh, we find stuff all over the yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this was an old site, uh, part of uh, military training grounds going back 200 years. What's um, that? Well, yeah, that, that is either part of an aerial uh, system or a part, part of a tuner in a radio. Mm. But I've never se seen something like that in a domestic radio. I mean, I, I used to be involved in uh, radios. Uh, a licensed radio ham, but I say if not, that's part of a military set. Maybe it's got some age uh, to it. It's not modern at all. It could go back, uh, you know, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety years. So that's what I think it is. Anyway, hope hope you enjoyed it. We try to be different every single week. Mm. Can't always achieve that, but no. uh, you know we. We give it a good go. So, toodle bit. Yeah. And uh, thanks for watching. watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. Maybe leave a if you'd comment. Like to. You yeah. don't have to. But, yeah. You know, be nice. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, don't forget, it's free to uh, subscribe. So uh, don't 
worry about joining up, you know, to anything, because because you don't. Uh, just uh, click on the what's it, and there you are. Mm. So goodbye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.